Hey everybody, happy Pride Month. On my recent road trip back to the East Coast, I spent a couple of days in Savannah, Georgia. It was definitely one of those bucket list destinations, a place I've always wanted to visit. One of the reasons I was here was to visit the gravesite of a very famous gay person who's laid to rest right in downtown Savannah. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to share his gravesite visit on this channel or on my other channel, but it was one of my favorite visits of this entire trip. His gravesite is located just a block away from Forsyth Park and its very iconic fountain, which is one of the most photographed spots in the city, and you may also recognize it from many movies and TV shows. And since it was such a nice morning, I figured it would be the perfect place to take my daily walk. And as you know, I love street art and public art, so seeing this really made my day. It looks like they just had a chalk art festival probably yesterday, and some of these images are really incredible. But the one that really surprised me and caught my attention and really made my day was the image of gay icon Marsha P. Johnson. Marsha was one of the brave drag queens at the Stonewall Inn in New York City back in 1969 who said enough is enough and fought back when the police decided to raid the Greenwich Village gay bar once again. And even though Marsha and the others didn't know it at the time, they were giving birth to the gay liberation movement, which would completely change and transform the world. And this is why every June, the world celebrates LGBTQ plus pride. Sadly, Marsha died or was killed at the young age of 46. She was born Malcolm Michaels on August 24, 1945 in Elizabeth, New Jersey and died July 6, 1992 in New York City. Her body was discovered floating in the Hudson River. Marsha was a self-identified drag queen and Johnson along with Sylvia Rivera were the co-founders of STAR, the Street Transvestite Action Revolution. Following her mysterious death, her body was cremated and scattered in the Hudson River at the Christopher Street Piers just down the street from the Stonewall Inn. In the past 50 plus years since the Stonewall riots took place, Marsha's life and legacy have been the subject of numerous movies and TV shows and books. And how cool is it that here she is today, memorialized in this beautiful mural on the sidewalks of this famous park in Savannah, Georgia, all these years later. So thank you, Marsha, and thank you to all of the artists who created these awesome sidewalk murals. It turns out that this was the 41st annual Sidewalk Arts Festival here in Savannah, Georgia, and I missed it by one day. It took place yesterday, April 23rd, 2022. But at least the artwork is still here, and it was created by Savannah College of Art and Design students and alumni and also other local high school students. So keep watching if you're a fan of chalk art. And if you've been here before, or if you also happen to be in Manhattan back in 1969 during the Stonewall Riots, please share your stories with us in the comments section.